Welcome back to River Acres. <laughs> Today we'll... Today we finish up our goat paddock finally. Uh, it's been a couple weeks in the making now. Finally got a couple days in a row that we could work on it in succession and got her finished up. Uh, we stretched red brand goat, goat fence over uh, uh, fence posts. We use six inch posts for our corners and ends and gates with four inch bracing. And then we put four inch posts for our spanner posts in between our corners that we stretch. We used three bags of concrete per corner post. And then for the secondary corner post, we used two bags of concrete. Those are 50 pound bags. Um, yeah. Then we made our own stretcher and stretched the fence and stapled her on and that's pretty much it. Got the gates on. The gates are nice. Put the gates on using uh, bolt through uh, hinges or uh, pins I mean I'd rather say. Five eighths uh, hinge pins for gates. I like the, uh, the bolt through versions better than the uh, the screw in types because you can adjust them in and out as opposed if your gate starts sagging or it's because the goats like to stand on the gates and stuff so it's nice to have that adjustment in them they like it then here in the near future we'll put some bigger bigger stuff in there for them to climb on and all that jazz
More goat fence. Mm hmm. More goat fence posts today. Uh, hopefully, we can get all the posts set so we can stretch the fence tomorrow. Yep. Never a new project. Yeah. All right.
So these are the adjustable uh, hinge pins. As you can see, they're just drilled through type, drilled through the post. Nut and washer on both sides. These are the gate latches we went with. We just bought these off of Amazon. We like them a lot, actually. Raise that up, opens up. Good deal. Much nicer than chains, that's for sure.
yeah. Be happy. Now you say, thanks for watching. Thanks like for and watching. subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. I like your camera voice. Bye. Peace. Uh, uh.